perfect morning everybody i can't see anything in this room it's like the lights are out so hopefully that'll work for the sun i have to make a quick video because i'm supposed to be doing something else um but i wanted to share just uh, some quick thoughts i paid 15 dollars per pair for these glasses even though they're supposed to be 10 bucks a pair um you could have got them for a dollar if you're prepared and got them before the day of the eclipse uh, if you bought them in bulk, you could have got them for 58 cents. So the lady I got them from off Facebook, she had a hundred pairs selling them for $10 each. She's going to make a thousand bucks before the day is over. Pretty awesome. Last night I told her I needed two pair. She was going to swing by, grab 20 bucks out of my mailbox, put them in, wake up in the morning. And she said they, the money wasn't in the mailbox. So I texted her the wrong address and I sent her to the shop or I sent her to our house, I um, meant to send her to our shop a couple houses down the road because I don't like giving my home address out. My wife put the money in the shop because that's where I thought we were going. Anyhow, I met her this morning. I gave her 10 extra dollars because I felt bad for wasting her time. At 3 a.m., she was running these around. There's a few life lessons that we can share. Um, if you don't prepare, it's going to cost you. I didn't prepare for this, so it cost me 10 extra dollars. The other thing, if you're at the wrong location, if you're not in the place in life where God is trying to get you to, it's going to cost you and you might completely miss the blessing. Um, God is trying to move you to a different place in your life. He's trying to move all people to where he wants them. And it's called the center of his perfect will. Um, he, we, we are taught and preached to saying God wants to bless you. And once, once you find, once you obey God, you'll be blessed. And it's 100% true. But really, God wants to make you obey him, not make you. He wants you to obey him. He doesn't make you. That's the beauty of us having free will. It's up to you what you do with it. Um, but he, he doesn't want it to do it just to bless you. The purposes of God is always more than you. He doesn't want to bring you to this location so that you can have the best life now. He wants to bring you to this location so that you can help those around you have the best life now. Whenever you're a self-centered person like I've been for so long, it blocks the blessings of God. I bless people, but then I try to worry about me and my family. But whenever I realize when I take my eyes off me and my family and help others, my family is automatically taken care of. It's a spiritual principle. That's a little bit of a bunny trail. So these things, I want to talk about the eclipse. Look on Facebook, you scroll down, eclipse, 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 eclipse. You talk to people, eclipse. The news, it's everywhere. What is different and special about this eclipse? I don't really know. I think it's going to be beautiful. I think that we'll move on. And yeah, I think that there's probably things going on. I think it, it could be a sign, but I, I don't know. I'm not concerned with that. What I am concerned, if God was to come today at 2.30, would you end up in heaven or would you end up in hell? In 1 Timothy 2, 4, it says that God, his will is for all men to be saved. He doesn't want anyone to perish. It says, if you believe on Jesus Christ, you will have eternal life. But if you don't, if you reject him, it says that the wrath of God abides on you. So I'm going to use the eclipse as an example. The wrath of God is on everybody, and there's a day of judgment. And when that happens... There's, you, it's a horrible judgment, and you get everything you deserve. Um, everything you've ever done wrong, you get the consequences of it. So it's you and Father God. But Jesus stepped in between, died, poured his blood out, rose three days later from the dead, and now he's seated in heaven. Anybody who actually puts their faith in Jesus, receives him, becomes born again, has a spiritual change of life inside of them, then the blood of Jesus becomes an eclipse. It blocks the wrath of God. And now you're safe from the wrath of God because it was all placed on Jesus. And Jesus took what should have been yours. And then what should have been Jesus's is, is fellowship with God, is eternal life. He gave to you. So today, when the eclipse goes by, I want everybody to think and to remember that Jesus Christ died for you. And someday we will face God. It could be today. Jesus could come back today. Are you right with him? Are you ready? And I say this to myself as well. I feel one moment that I might end up in hell. The next moment I might end up in heaven. 
Those are thoughts. It says, lean not unto your own understanding. It does not matter what I think. It does not matter what you think. What matters is what God thinks. So we have to talk to God. We can. He uses people to help us, but really our conversations need to be directed to God. So Father God, I pray for anyone that's watching this, that you would minister to them, that you would show them who you are. If they don't know you, if they're lost, if they're struggling, I pray that you'd give them the help that they need. I pray for the salvation of their soul. I pray that today would be the day of salvation. And I pray, Father God, that you would um, wash them in the blood of Jesus, cleanse them, and give them a brand new heart. And I pray, Father, that it wouldn't just be words that come out of their mouth, but I pray, God, that they'd be impregnated with the Holy Spirit, with the life of God, and that from this day forward, everything would change for them, that they could start walking in the newness of life and live life in the way that you've intended it. I bless you for watching. I thank you for watching. And I, I know these videos, I like doing them. I had a lot of good responses, but, but obviously you can tell this one's different than the other videos. It's because I put pressure on me during this one. The other one, I was just talking. I want to get back to where I can just talk and be myself. Um, but for some reason, I'm camera shy.